I'm Deborah Carpenter. I'm the new camp director. I know that most of you here were campers uh, before it closed down in 84, which gives us something in common. She's digging in the dark, right? First of all, there's something there, you know? And, and she's not terribly forthcoming. She's like, yay and welcome, I'm so glad you're here. But she's not really connecting with anyone in any kind of a real way. This place, it, um, well, it stuck with me. And she does a lot of kind of like watching people when they're not watching. So that's creepy. That's creepy on any book. If I did that, that would be creepy if I was just like, <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> I don't know. I do creepy really well. Creepy's fun. But um but but in this particular case, um, she doesn't seem particularly connected, like you don't have a way in. Which is why I've sunk everything that I have into reopening it. Anytime you trap characters into a situation, you have a happy drama place. You know, you have Storyville, you have you have um, the Breakfast Club where they're all stuck in detention. You have um, Friday the Thirteenth; they can't leave. You know, you you just have a lot of opportunity for character development when people are all stuck together. Be Mark. Yeah. And I think it must be really fun to write because you can do almost anything. And using their flashback the way that they kind of did it, the way that we did it on Lost, is fun because you gain insight, but then you also continue the drama that's going on on a, you know, on the the stories continue as the show goes on. You guys want to hear something really scary? Things start to happen, and then we have to start to figure out who is responsible for the things that are happening, or is there someone responsible for the things happening? Is it just that it's a, you know, a scary place? Um, but it as the episodes kind of go, it, it gets to be a little bit, not murkier, but you, you go from almost one character to the next on who you think might be responsible for what's going on. Someone could just stroll in and kill each and every one of us. They wouldn't find the bodies for days. <laughs> Dude, I totally got it.